Hello everyone. Welcome to the Western Court Academy. And we have got an exciting animation for all of you. That is the space animation. And as you can see in the screen, we have got the space animation right there. And just clicking on the green flag. So this is what exactly we are going to create now. We have, we have got the Earth, the rocket ship and the Saturn in the space. And a rocket ship travels from the Earth till the Saturn and the Saturn explodes. So this is our project right now. And so let's get started. I've already created the stage for the project. I've set my backdrop to the space one. Then I've selected all my three sprites, the earth, and I have changed its size to a little smaller than the default 100 size. I've made it to 70. I've selected a rocket ship. I've also reduced its size over here and I've made it to 45. I want my rocket ship to travel in this direction and reach till here. So I've also changed the direction of my rocket ship which was originally 90 to 135. And I've also set my Saturn image and I have changed the size to also 70. The Saturn image was originally not there in the sprite section over here. So I have uploaded this sprite from my computer which I had originally downloaded. And I have got five costumes also for the explosion going on in the Saturn. So these are the five costumes which I have uploaded. You can also download your own Saturn images and its explosion from the internet and then upload and you can try them. So let's start writing, writing our code. First coming to the rocket ship, selecting a green flag block first of all because our code starts when we click on the green flag. So when my green flag will be clicked, first of all, I want my rocket ship to show because initially it should be hidden. So I'm selecting the show block from the looks category. And after it shows up, it should go to the earth. That's what I want. So I'll select go to earth and even the position should be as I want it. Its position should be these are originally poster values but this position is going to be negative. As I can see, the position of X and Y for Earth is minus 208 and minus 154. So should be the same for here. Minus 208 and minus 154. Then after it reaches this particular position, I want it to glide to the sat glide it to the Saturn. So I need a gliding block which I already have in my motion category but this needs to be in a forever block. Since this needs to be continuously moving till my code is running. So now I can select my gliding block. It should glide in around 5 seconds to the Saturn image. And then I don't need my rocket ship at all because after it reaches the Saturn, there's going to be the explosion 
so rocket is also not going to be there anymore so I can hide the rocket ship after that so here's my hide block and I put it here so this is the code done for my rocket ship so let's code the Saturn image right now so coming to the Saturn first thing I would like to have is my green flag as usual but uh, when this code is running there should be even a sound at least a play sound a space noise so I've selected this but this should be continuous so I need a forever block so this is the sound programming done and finally is the explosion part left for the sun programming for the explosion part again taking this again green flag so first of all I want for the satin to show me the original costume the first one switch its costume to satin image and since I have selected 5 seconds over here for the rocket ship to glide till the satin I have to wait in this costume only for 5 seconds there is not going to be any change in the satin for the 5 seconds then after the explosion starts that means when the rocket ship has already touched the satin then only there will be changes in the costume of the satin so I'll take a forever block for changes in the costume then I need to change the costume of the satin coming to next costume and just changing the costumes won't be enough because I want to see the changes also so let me add a weight block uh, let me make it to 0.5 seconds after every costume change there will be a wait of 0.5 seconds so that I can at least see the changes properly or else it is going to be so fast that I won't be able to see how the changes in costumes are happening and then finally after all the changes in costumes are done I have got total 5 costumes over here for the satin so when the costume number 5 has been reached the explosion is all over for me so I need to check if it has reached the costume number 5 I need to select the costume number block so from here I can check if it is costume number 5 then I can stop it all I have got the stop all option also and so I have done with my program later if I want I can even I uh, hi, uh, switch costume to the satin image over here but uh, that's not necessary so I'm not adding it and the code is done for me let's see how it's running so it's exactly as we wanted it right Okay, so thank you everyone.